the U site, literally if you type in REU, a lot of stuff will come up. And if you specify REU New York, REU California, REU Japan, so many stuff will come up. There's Amgen scholars. Um, if you're an, if you go to an everyone welcome back to my channel road to phd on kim's take on health tv where we inspire and encourage black women in stem my name is kimberly i'm a junior at howard university and i plan on getting my phd so i wanted to take you on this journey with me now for the month of january i'll be having a summer research internship series or um usually called reus to be honest i don't know what reu means r probably research e not sure u undergrads or research experience for undergrads i'm not sure or exposure but this series is gonna talk to you about how to find your research internships like which ones to apply for and where you can find this information and how to narrow it down your personal statements your resume and CV and what to do about recommendation letters so that's four videos or maybe five it depends on how I feel so stick around for the month of January and I'm so happy to have you on this journey with me PhD roadies I hope you learn a lot you might be like is she even qualified for this yes I am the summer between my freshman and sophomore years I did a summer research internship at UC San Diego School of Medicine with the UC STARS program and last summer I did an international research fellowship with the University of Alabama at Birmingham it's the MERT program and I did it in Montego Bay Jamaica at the Western Regional Health Authority under the Ministry of Health and in order to apply for all of these I think I've applied to a total of eight overall eight overall summer research internships and this summer i'll be applying to seven you might wonder seven i'll explain it in actually this video right here and the other videos no so stick around so when trying to figure out where to apply and what programs you want to do you have to really look at yourself and see where you want to go what career um what career field interests you and what you want to do and where you want to be and how much money you want to make let's be honest here so average bio bio science chemistry internship for the summer will pay you about four thousand five thousand but if you are like computer science or chemical engineering you might get about 10k 8, 8k to 10k and if you go into industry you can make around 15 to 20k now when it comes to being biology and chemistry it's really hard to get into industry but a lot of engineering and computer science can get into industry for sure but that's not research based all the time you know so it depends on if you want to be research based and this video only focuses on research based information so i'm so sorry if you were watching this and you wanted to learn about industry i have no experience with industry and i don't think i will in the future like the immediate future at all so what i would narrow how i would narrow it down your search is um three factors the first factor is where do you want to be this is not the most important one, but where do you want to be? Like this summer, I really want to be in New York because I live in New Jersey and I want to be close to my family for this summer because I've been to California already and I've spent 11 weeks in Jamaica doing research and I really just want to be home one summer, you know? So literally, you can literally narrow down your search based on location. Do you want to be international? I recommend that everyone have an international experience during undergrad. So if you want to take that summer to do research abroad, sure, go ahead. Or if you want to study abroad yeah but basically for research you want to be you want to narrow down your your location based on city state or country right and then also another factor of how to narrow it down is by mentor and their project now every site that you look on that has a project site and like they have a list of past projects that they've researched etc and you want to make sure you look at that and see if it resonates with you they might be doing neuroscience and you might really like how they do it they might be doing neuroscience but do it on mice you know and you might not want to work with rodents and um but they could also be doing epidemiology work abroad and you think that's really interesting so remember you're spending eight hours a day five days a week in a lab or doing research and you want to make sure that it's something you are a interested in 
be passionate about or C, just very like you think you can do it for that amount of time. You don't want to be miserable that summer. Like don't let any other factors like the name of the school or anything make you miserable if it's something that you don't want to do. The third tip would be based on literally how much they're paying you. Um, I know people who have gone to certain areas to do research and they paid them nothing or you can't pay them nothing but little to nothing you know but it's something they were really passionate about and they wanted the experience in and they knew that um going into their phds or even like tenure track work postdoc they wanted to do research on this stuff so it's worth it to them but you have to ask yourself is it worth it for me to not to go here and make little to nothing and there are some opportunities that are like that and sometimes you really just have to bite your tongue close your eyes sign the agreement and just do it because the experience is important but i can understand if you have financial obligations that you might want to go to a higher tier research program that pays you a little bit more and whatever decision you make if you're cool with it then i'm cool with it as long as you're not hurting anyone then go ahead now that you've narrowed it down, you probably want to know like where you can find this stuff. Um, Google's amazing. Everybody knows that, but specifically, NSF has um, an REU site. Literally, if you type in REU, a lot of stuff will come up. And if you specify REU New York, REU California, REU Japan, so many stuff will come up. There's Amgen Scholars. Um, if you're an if you go to an HBCU, there are a lot of HBCU partnerships. You can just type in REU HBCU partnership or the school that you go to. I know the one for UC San Diego had a UC HBCU partnership, but I think it's over now. If you're in a if you're a minority, which if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you are, because that's my target audience. The Leadership Alliance is amazing. They have Ivies on there, UCs on there, um, smaller CUNY and SUNY state schools for New York, and just stuff that like you. I wouldn't say you wouldn't get into but it's literally catered to you and they have a symposium at the end and they pay for everything so you want to also take into consideration amenities as well um every program i've done have paid for my flights housing etc so I, re I really recommend that you look for amenities as well because it, it will really help and then another site that i really like um the mert programs you can literally type in any school that you might be thinking of off and type in MIRT behind it, like M-H-I-R-T or M-I-R-T. Yeah, MIRT, and like so many will come up. Like Harvard has a MERT program, Stanford has a MERT program, Howard has a MERT program. There's so many schools that have MERT programs and that's really good for global health, epidemiology, and public health. So I'm really happy that you stuck around for this video and these tips. Stay tuned for the next three weeks as we continue diving into personal statements, CVs, resumes, and recommendation letters for summer research internships. Thank you for joining me on this journey, PhD roadies, and I'll see you on the road. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're into food freedom, overcoming emotional eating, etc., please sign up for my blog, link in bio, or description, sorry, bye.